hello guys thanks for watching my videos please uh, click on bell icon and uh, subscribe uh, for more updates please support me guys uh, guys today i'm uh, we are going to discuss about uh, you know cloud connector how it works how can we uh, you know uh, you know configure how it are established how is the uh, configurations or connection uh, established between the uh, servers we will check we are going to check today's class okay now <coughs> cloud connector sap cloud connector what is sap cloud connector what is sap cloud connector is just a small you know uh, on premise application uh, to uh, 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 you know uh, the exchange the data from uh, cloud uh, servers to uh, on premise servers we will use this cloud connector in secure way it will uh, pass the um, receives the data from uh, cloud can uh, you know uh, sap application or else you know cloud application or else the cpa application and it will um, uh, uh, redirect the message to the all on premise application so now we will see the uh, you know setup uh, high level setup okay uh, okay one minute suppose let's say this is one network some on premise network client network whatever on premise network client network uh, local network this is our network uh, client network let's say and and in client network so base system will going to install one sap cpa application okay uh, sorry, sorry sap cloud connector application let's say this is sap uh, CC uh, cloud connector. This is installed in the within the client network or local network or on premise network. We can uh, can say anything. Okay. Uh, uh, <coughs> base system uh, will install this application. Okay. And now, uh, so in the client network, we have different uh, applications. Uh, different applications like some SFTP. some SAP or HANA, S4 HANA or whatever and also you can say different network in other network or different network uh, also we have a application some this is let's say some SOAP based application yes. okay some web service okay so web service application we have so we uh, so how we will establish a connection uh, from CPI to uh, this on premise application via cloud connector we will see to discuss okay so our uh, CPI is cloud server okay our uh, CPI is cloud server CPI or BTP whatever cloud server first we will uh, see <coughs> basis will establish the connection between these two so the system will uh, after installing this application uh, uh, the system will add the sub account of this sap cpi in cloud connector and then they will establish the connection between these two servers okay later uh, we have to establish the connection uh, between uh, this um, um, you know on premise application to uh, cloud connector application okay uh, like uh, we will say SFTP and S4 and and our intro network or other network okay servers so like this like this we have to establish the connections okay see once a cpa sends the data uh, 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 cloud connector will receive okay after receiving the cloud connector will re uh, redirect to the respective server based on the connectivity okay <coughs> so for this inter network uh, so in uh, internal servers no need to you know or uh, raise fire firewalls or open firewalls because these uh, applications are within the uh, uh, cloud connectors network so no need to uh, any firewalls or any other whitelistings are not required 
if you go to here this is uh, this is intra network or other network some other network or vendor network whatever you can say so this is our client network this is our vendor clients vendor network so to send the data from cloud connector to here soap uh, uh, soap so, you know web service so we have to establish the connection how first uh, we have to enable the firewalls between these two networks also we have to share our um, cloud connectors ips for whitelisting the team firewall team will uh, firewall team other networks team will whitelist the our um, you know our uh, so, uh, cloud connectors ips in their network so that only when we send the message from cpi to cloud connector cloud connector to other network it allows else it will fails okay it will fails at their network side why because they they, they are not allowing our request to their inside the network okay for that purpose only for uh, other networks only we have to uh, request the uh, you know respective teams to open the firewalls also while testing okay this is the overall setup guys um, how the cloud connector install and how uh, this uh, messages are uh, processing okay uh, coming to cloud connector cloud connector uh, <coughs> we can integrate two types of servers uh, what are the servers is abap system two types of end system uh, abap system a server and non abap system non abap system okay abap and non abap systems we have two types of uh, systems we can uh, you know the integrate through cloud connector in cloud connector we will see the two uh, options while uh, you know uh, while adding the entries of these on premise applications okay uh, what uh, abap system abap system nothing but here our s4 hana s4 uh, S4 SAP system, any SAP system is ABAP system, we can say. And non-ABAP system is any uh, uh, other than uh, SAP system like SFTP, SOAP, um, you know, JDBC, uh, sorry, JDBC, data, any database, these are comes under non-ABAP system. Uh, system. For SAP systems, we will use some, uh, for SAP and non-SAP systems. Okay, in cloud connector, we have, uh, uh, you know, four types of uh, uh, protocols. We have four types of protocol. One is HTTP or HTTPS for secure pro port, we will use HTTPS, non-secure port, we will use HTTP protocol. And second thing is um, RFC protocol for a web system and TCP protocol for any SFTP uh, servers, we will use SFTP, FTP servers. Uh, we will use TCP protocol or uh, and LDAP for LDAP servers or LDAP adapter. We will use this LDAP protocol. So these protocols are available in the uh, you know this SAP cloud connector. So using this protocol or using uh, the ABAP system or non ABAP systems options, we will establish the connectivity from SAP uh, cloud connector to these on premise servers. So <coughs> Uh, how CPI uh, will send the data to cloud connector, how cloud connector distribute the data to other on-premise servers. So this entire configuration setup we will see the our next class, okay. Our next class we will uh, see the entire setup, how we will uh, configure this uh, SAP CPI and what are the entries we have, what are the options we have, what are the certificates uh, we need to update on yearly and how uh, basis team will configure uh, you know uh, add the sub account of uh, sap cpi in cloud connector so how we will test the connectivity between cpa and uh, cloud connector how we will test the connectivity between cpa and un on premise servers all entire setup we are going to see in the next class okay in next class everything i will explain in detail okay thanks guys watching my uh, uh, now videos please uh, subscribe and share for more updates uh, yeah this is the um, uh, about cloud connector guys uh, you know brief high level okay tomorrow's in next class i will explain 
uh, in more details thank you thanks for watching my videos please follow me